this is the solution we created for them. This is the high level of the workflow that we have set for them. They will receive new leads. They come from a form in Asana. Let's remember we created a CRM through a project that contains a form that then they will embed it to their website. Once a form is submitted, they will create a task in Asana, set a status to new leads, and then add certain collaborators. Then there's some mandatory information that they need to fill out after they create the task because they do not have the information from the moment that the client is filling out the form. Then the salesperson will qualify the lead if it's qualified or not. If it's not qualified, then Asana will just close the task by completing it. If it's qualified, then that will create the client project. I will add it to a potential project's portfolio. This is mainly for the management of the company. They needed to have an overview of all potential projects that are going to be coming soon. Then they will have their process for all the consultation meetings they will have with their clients. So by creating the project, that will assign all consultation meeting tasks. Then there's decision points after those meetings. If the client approves or rejects everything that they deliver through these meetings. So at the, at the final one, they will have a decision. They will have to indicate if that is approved or not by the client. If it's rejected, then Asana will create certain tasks to get the project closed. If it's approved, then Asana will start assigning tasks to move forward with performing voice for retainer or design fee, depending on what the client approved. Once they receive the payment confirmation and the sign confirmation, then it will move to the next stage, which is getting the payment done confirm and then move forward with the design brief. At this point, they will start having certain checklists that we created forms, internal forms for the team, because depending on the answers that they will get from this checklist, there are certain actions that the team needs to take. So for that, we simplify it through a ticketing system to get this checklist in Asana. They will go to the brief stage, once it gets approved, it will move forward to the final brief that will go through an internal checklist to then be approved internally and then by the client. And it goes moving forward through the process with all the approvals that they need both internally and then the client until the client approves the final design. It goes to the designers for drawings. It goes then to suppliers for a purchasing process. And then at the end, they will deliver it to the client. The client will approve it to then get all the design done at their house until the project gets completed. Once it's completed, Asana will assign the task to get project closed and a final update in the portfolio in Asana. This is how it looks in Asana. We have a new DL form that it will be embedded on the website where we ask contact name, organization, job type, the probability, the lead source, and the campaign source, etc. That will create a task in Asana. And through automations, we will get tasks completed and then converted to projects because we have set a template in place for that. So this is basically the template that they will get created every time they qualify a new lead. We also set SOPs for the client, but considering how the team is getting used to Asana because it's a new technology that they are implementing in the company, we're making it easier for them as they get familiar and this is going to be a temporary. We're adding at the beginning and quick video, onboarding video on how to use the project, very short, and with certain uh, instructions for them to always look up at the top of the project. And then access to all the checklist forms, even though they are added in the specific task with the instructions for what they need to do, in case they want to go back to a specific form, they will have access here. Then 
all tasks with certain dates already assigned. Tasks are going to be assigned to team members automatically based on the roles that we identify during the mapping of the process. And then all the actions that they will have for approval, once something is being approved, that will start creating the corresponding tasks that they will need for all the process. For the checklist that they need, they need basically checklists for everything. Let's remember this is an interior design company. They need to make sure they have everything in place. They do site visits to make sure that everything follows to their standards, what they need to deliver, what they need to purchase so that all the quotations for the clients are accurate. So we set forms to replace those manual checklists that they used to have with documents that they needed to print out and then manually inform to the team members what they needed to do. So instead, we created forms and then each question is connected to a specific custom field. Let's remember in Asana, custom fields are like magic. So we created all questions with custom fields connected and then based on the answers, in the case that the answer is no, then that will start creating those additional tasks they need to have in place for the people that need to do those actions, like following up on receiving something, getting certain document or getting the reference images, etc. So that's why we created those custom fields so that we can track for all the checklists, the different things they need to do as a follow-up for the checklist they will get. So on this, uh, there's only the limitation that even though we can get 200 questions now on a form, we only have certain numbers of custom fields and then up to 50 rules. So when creating forms, you just need to be mindful exactly what is it that you need. And then based on that, you start creating your forms in Asana for examples like this.